What's up, guys? Uh, I'm actually gonna start the Corvette real quick. It's in this garage. Let it idle for a little bit. My garage door's been open quite a bit because I've been working on the truck. Oh, so nice. But yeah, my, my garage door's been open, so all the pollen and everything has been literally destroying my car. Not destroying, but it's so it's really dirty, so. They run a little Borla, Borla attacks on here. If they have, I don't know if they make them or not, but this thing needs to be started. If it will start, it might be too dead. Oh no, oh no. I'm probably just gonna pull the truck out and just put it put it out there in the cul-de-sac for for now but uh today i'm just gonna do a detail on the car um nothing crazy the interior is fine uh i try to keep that up as, as good as i can but what i wanted to do in this video is just kind of show you the foam gun and see how this works see how see how good it is i guess compare it to the the foam cannon and I'm actually about to buy an electric pressure washer. I've actually used my my parents' pressure washer for the foam cannon. I got the cheap one I have. But um, this video is just going to be the foam gun. And this is from Adams. Here, I'll show you guys what, what it has. So you got your nozzle here, your spray, spray nozzle here. This piece hooks right into the end like a quick connect, obviously. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, guys, but put your soap in here. All right, guys, so I filled half this water. Uh, this is to fill the other half with the car shampoo, whatever one you want to use. I don't think you have to use Adams, of course, but uh, that's what I have. I also have the Ultra Foam stuff they sent me, which is right uh, there, the purple one. Uh, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to end up using that with the foam gun, or the foam cannon, I mean. So uh, I'm going to save, save that for that, but uh, I'm going to give this a shot. Let me back the car out real quick, put it in the middle of the driveway. I'm gonna show you this real quick. It's pretty, it's really dirty. Out in the sun, it's even like, it's way worse, but I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can see it on the camera. Yeah, you probably can see that, that like film. Yeah, you can see it easily. That's all pollen. I mean, it gets everywhere. For those that don't have Corvettes and don't know, um, this is probably with most cars, but I feel like on the Corvette it does it the most. The back of the Corvettes, at least the C6s, all that, when you're, when you're driving, all that wind and all that dirt kicks up right behind the car, and it goes and hits the back. And so, this part always gets dirty first. Like, it's always dirty. Pretty much the second you drive it, it gets dirty. So, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this thing down. I'll probably just use the regular hose part of it, rinse it down, and I'm going to go back over it with the soap. And uh, also, I'm going to end up cleaning these out real quick. I mean, what I really could do, I could actually just use them both. I can use them both as a dirty water because I'm going to be using the foam gun anyways for my soap. So I can just spray the car off with the soap and then uh, use both of these as the dirty water. And uh, I think that'll work good too. So, there's a lot of soap. That'll work. That doesn't seem right though, but that's what it says. All right, I'll give it a shot. And then, self-explanatory, this goes on. I use the yellow little nozzle that they provide. They provide three little nozzle things for each soap. All right guys, so the two water buckets are good to go, all cleaned out. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna spray the car off, get all the pollen, most of it, and then I'll hook the foam gun up. But I kinda wanna get all this stuff off first. hook 
the foam the foam gun up real quick. Uh, actually, let me get the, the mitt I'm going to use out. There it is. All right, so I'm going to use this mitt. I've never used it yet. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the whole car off with the foam gun with actual soap. And then I'm just going to go over it real quick. Do about the front third of the car, and then I'll do middle and then the back and just keep getting the dirt off as I go. But this is the one I'm going to use right here. And like I was saying, both these buckets are going to be my my dirty water buckets, I guess you could say, because the soap will be already already be on the car. So and I don't know if I don't know if that's a, a good or bad thing to do, but I don't see the problem in it. I know someone will probably find a way to, you know, criticize it saying it's gonna cause swirl marks or something. <laughs> uh, there's always, you know, there's never a right way, I think. So I'm I'm gonna do it this way. It should be fine. Uh, the car shouldn't explode or anything like that. So I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, I think we'll be good. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, spray the car with the foam and then wash it down with the mitt and uh, then we'll start waxing. All right guys, so it just goes like this. It's pretty much, it's already on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right guys, so I'm gonna try not to get this on my camera. Oh, that ain't bad. That's actually more than I thought I would do, actually, to be honest. I like this thing. Just spray the whole car off. That's thicker soap than I thought. I, I literally thought it would just be like a, a light little layer. That's actually that's actually pretty impressive. It's actually really impressive. I didn't think it would be that. Seriously, I didn't think it would be that thick. That's what she said. You know what? I'm just going to put you guys on the garbage can right here. I'll just put it right on this Mustang hood real, real quick. I'm just gonna rinse the car off now. So you just, I'm just gonna rinse it. All right guys, so now, now the car is completely dry somewhat and uh, now I'm sure some water will find its way out and uh, I'll, have to, I'll, I'll get that as I go but um, let me see what we got. So I got the buttery wax here. I also have the uh, hex little applicator I guess and uh, I'll probably use a another microfiber. Yeah I'll probably use that one that they, they gave me. and. Um, Pretty easy stuff though. You wanna just apply it to the applicator here and just kinda of work your way around the car. This is how I'm gonna do it. This is the first time I actually used this though. And so I'm, I'm curious to see how good it is. Alright guys, so I'm actually going to use this towel, it's a single, single soft polishing towel, so it makes sense to use it with the, the wax. So, um, almost the, the whole car is pretty much dry as far as the wax goes. You can kind of see that haze, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm going to work from the beginning because that'll be the driest part, obviously, and uh, just work around the car. And I'm probably going to do a little polish on those tips, and uh, I'll do another microfiber on the wheels just to dry them off a little better because I'm sure they've been dripping 
stuff's been dripping around. So let me go ahead and do this and uh, I'll reveal it. All right guys, it is all done. It looks amazing. I wish there was better lighting, but you guys can probably tell. Yeah, it looks amazing. It really does. Um, I'll go ahead. I'll go through the list of the stuff I used for this. And uh, you know, I'm not. This is not me saying it's the best, but this is what I use and this is what I like. Um, so, starting off, I use the Car Shampoo by Adams, right there. And um, I've I've used that for quite a while. You know, before they even send me sent me stuff. So, um, I used the Car Shampoo. I used the foam gun this is like their just their basic foam gun it's got the as i already showed you guys this but i'm just going to go through it again uh so it comes with this stuff right here i didn't use this today a wheel cleaner uh, i use the this red and white mitt from adams i use the buttery wax which really really easy to work with how shiny the car is now it looks it looks brand new it really does i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helped some of you guys with detailing, I know uh, my last truck video got a lot of criticism because I use a, a brush, but uh, <laughs> I don't care. Um, that's how I do it. I don't do it on the car because I can reach everywhere with a mitt, but um, yeah, the car looks, it turned out amazing, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't action-packed, but uh, I hope it was helpful for a lot of you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, you like ZR1 content, uh, big Duramax content, guns, fishing, that kind of stuff. Um, definitely hit the subscribe button. Fishing will be starting here soon. It won't be like straight fishing videos, but you know I'll probably add some stuff here and there. It's the weather's getting warm, so the and the water's warming up down here in Florida. So um, fishing's about to really start taking off for us. So uh, be on the lookout for some more fishing stuff in the videos. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you next time.